But the first thing that we always do is, you know, you got to introduce yourself. Okay. And then anything you want posted at the bottom of the screen. I am Eric Bradshaw, and I am the Director of Athletic Bands and Music Outreach here at Audio University. But I prefer to be the Professor of Harley Davidson. So, Professor Davidson, where, where does that name come from? Just because I have one, I like it. You got a, you got a Harley? <laughs> I do. So, you, how long have you been driving motorcycles then? I got my first one before my sons were born, so 26 years. Nice. Uh, have they always been Harleys, or has it been... Nope. This is the first one. I've had, uh, I had a Honda, then I had a, another Honda, a Suzuki, a Honda, and now a Harley. So, it's actually my fifth one. Oh, dang. Wow. So That's you... my third one in the last year. <laughs> how did kind that swap bikes a couple of times yeah how does that happen is that from a, a crash very kind that... wife <laughs> oh i'm sure i'm sure. no i just i uh, had a motorcycle i liked and then my brother got a new harley davidson so i bought his honda because it was the bike i wanted and then i got the fever and i wanted the harley davidson too so that's what I got. Is that your regular commute to work, or you got, you got like something else to, to get? It's to, my to fair to weather work? commute. Uh, but I rode this morning in that really crazy fog. Oh yeah. I forgot how wet fog is. Yeah. By the time I got here, my pants were soaked. Um, <laughs> the whole bike was wet. My my glasses were completely covered. So yeah, I forgot how wet fog is. Yeah. So how high are your handlebars? Like, I do not here have. You got. They're called ape hangers. Oh, yeah, I do not have ape hangers. No. Nope. I have what are called higher? mini apes. So how high are you? So doing? they're about right here. They're just right here? Yeah. Normal, comfortable. I can't. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you couldn't do that? I would be tired. But, all right. So how long have you been working at Ottawa then? This is my second year. So I started in August of last year. So have you, like, like what brought you here then? What was the, were you like at, like somewhere else beforehand? To or? Ottawa or to Kansas or both? I mean both. What's the story here? So the story is I lived in Georgia for... 20 years, five years of public education, uh, just outside the Atlanta area. And then I took a college job and taught for 15 years down in South Georgia, right along the Florida border at a school called Valdosta State. And then life happens and I followed a person out here who I'm now married to. Uh, she got hired at KU and so we moved to Kansas. I taught at Topeka High for five years, and then I was ready to get back to college. And so they were able to create a position here through both admissions and music, which is why I'm in both. And so now I'm here. Have you, have you feel like you'd settled in? You have like your favorite parts so far. Like what's what's been what's been like the joy of it? The biggest surprise was I never thought I would teach in a school this size. The college I taught at was about. 12 or 13,000 students wow. where I taught there. I went to school at the University of Alabama, which is a very, you know, a large institution. So I never thought I'd be in a small school setting like this. But that's probably one of the things that I've enjoyed the most mm -hmm. is I remember when I came to interview, staff, faculty, students, it didn't matter. Everybody says hello, they hold a door open for you. Um, I just liked how friendly everyone is on the campus and how everyone genuinely seems to get along. Now, I'm not naive to say 800 students all get along with each other, but the general atmosphere is pretty pretty cordial and friendly, and I I like that. Yeah, that's so that's been a big surprise and one of the things I've really enjoyed. So, so you have this nice big office that we're in right now. So did you yeah. get that because of the dual role that you got, or was it just... Because I'm Professor Hartley. So well, how many instruments can you teach, you know? Could you teach me, like, piccolo or, you know? According to my certification, I can teach any instrument. Really? Because I have a music ed degree. But what can I actually teach at a level for a college student? Yeah. I teach low brass. So I okay. teach some trombone, and then I teach baritone or euphonium, whichever you want to call it, and tuba. So you had a list of favorite song of all time. Just one. What would it be? One song of all time. Like, I have my top five albums or CDs. It's like asking me what my favorite ice cream is. <laughs> you can't answer that can't, one either? No, you can't pick one. <laughs> oh, um, I absolutely could for both of these questions. Let's see. It would probably have to be... I don't know. Can't tell you. I can tell you my top albums, but I can't oh. tell you a favorite song. Oh. Well, today, it'd be Hold My Hand, because I like Lady Gaga. She's got some good stuff. 
You know what that song is? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Since you probably haven't even seen the Top Gun Maverick movie yet. Uh, I haven't, but I've heard it's fantastic. It is so, fantastic, actually. Did you know Tom Cruise really flies those planes? I know he does a lot of his own stuff, actually. Yeah, they, it was actually 12,000 casualties just to make the movie. Yeah. But you know, well, you don't know because you haven't seen the movie. The scene where they take off and they're trying to break the speed record and it blows a roof off the building on the side actually happened and they could only do it one take because it destroyed the building. That's a true, fa- that's a true fact about wow. that. So we always tag along a challenge within uh, our... Like, you don't want to hear my video. top five albums? I'm uh, just I mean, going to stick I, with I the one the, song. I just, I just wanted the one. I, I, I could say my favorite one. What's your favorite song? Instant Crush by Daft Punk. It has been for a decade. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, fine. Let's let, list your top five. List the top five. Come on. Let's All right. You're so certain about them. Van Halen 5150. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Def Leppard, Hysteria. Um, and then you get to the funny ones. Uh, so, John Denver, Greatest Hits, because I grew up in West Virginia. Um, yep, Country Roads. Um, and then the sixth one kind of changes every once in a while. It depends on my mood. But probably Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Just when you got chill. All right, so um, my hair cho- hairstyle. Uh, yeah. So what's? I mean, you got the nice beard. I I, I like the beard. I think the facial hair works really Thanks. well. My wife informed the... me it wasn't gray. It wasn't. No, it's, well, it's white. white. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't make me feel any better. So, but where the? So about uh, ten years ago, I decided to shave my head. Maybe even longer than that now. And so I literally like shaved my head. And I went straight down the middle first, so I couldn't change my mind. And then for six years, probably, I shaved it every day. Bald. Wow. Yeah. And then I was like, this is ridiculous. So now I just do it once a week. And I cut it real short. It's easier than shaving it. And I haven't paid to get a haircut in 12 years. But how much, do you, how much have you spent on sunblock? Wear a hat. <laughs> so with the show, we always do a challenge. Okay. Uh, past challenges have been, you know, like we had a handshake contest, we had a basketball challenge, a, a, a arm wrestling challenge, and a, a sprinting challenge, right? If we're going to do something music related, we should whistle. Here's the thing. That's going to be a challenge for me. It's going to be a challenge. It's a good challenge. It could be a challenge for me. <laughs> Well, now I'm feeling a little better. So now I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, so then what comes with the challenge is the punishment slash reward. Okay. So it's always been a punishment, which it's always been a physical punishment. Is there anything that you'd want for that punishment? I mean, it can be pretty much anything. You should have to demonstrate your whistling skills or something to a random person. Or sing to them. Like... Random, like, uh... Just on campus. Just just the student body? Sure, anybody. Whoever you walk up to. <laughs> okay. So if you're going to sing, you should wear a sign that says, I can't whistle, so I'm going to sing to you. And just don't tell them what you're doing. Just start singing. All right, so now when I win, I, I would like the guest conductor spot at the next rehearsal. Okay. <laughs> like a song? Yeah, just, like, you know, for the allotted whatever, five, ten minutes that you want to give me just to get up there and rehearse and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll this work. Sounds like a plan? Plan. All right, we'll get set up for it. Okay, got to get the rhythm, you know? Oh, you. All right, so, from the beginning.
know you. We are back and ready to do our punishment. I've got my sign. We are ready to go. Let's jump into it. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit tired the end you're never coming round. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my turn around every now and then I get a little bit nervous at the best of it. Rolling like a shadow in the other time, all the time. I don't know what to do. I'm always in the dark. Turn around brighter, turn around bright eyes If I need now tonight, and I need you more than ever And we only hold me tight Hold me tighter right. You only hold forever Cause we'll never be wrong together.